Hey guys, Andy Tran here with Inner Bark Outdoors. In this video, I wanted to go over my restoration of this piece of cast iron. This is a Goodwill find from yesterday. It's a piece of Wagner ware, and I got it for about 13 bucks. Overall, very good condition. The inside is very clean, but the bottom has a little bit of rust. Now this company called Workshop Hero contacted me a little bit ago with their paint on rust remover. So I'm gonna demonstrate how that works on this, and then I'm gonna go over the process of seasoning it so that it doesn't get rust in the future. Check it out. So as I mentioned before, the inside is in really good condition. There's hardly any pitting at all. Maybe a couple high spots from some of the seasoning that kind of got on there over time. Um, the edges on the outside have just a little bit so we can spot treat that. But the main thing that I'm worried about is right here on the bottom. Now the beauty of this sort of paint on rust remover is that you don't have to submerge the whole thing which may or may not damage the really good seasoning that's already on there. So in order to do this efficiently and make sure that I keep as much of the original seasoning on there as possible, we're gonna do a paint over on the bottom and then a little bit on the sides as well, wherever it needs it. So I have a paintbrush here that I was gonna throw away just cause I got some, uh, some paint dried on it. It's a little bit stiffer than I would like. Uh, but instead of throwing it away, I thought I'd repurpose it for this. And let's go ahead and open up this gel. So this stuff uh, kind of has the consistency of petroleum jelly, um, just a little bit more runny, and it has a little bit of a scent to it, kind of like eucalyptus. So according to the instructions, you're supposed to wear gloves, even though it's non-toxic, and you're supposed to paint on about an eighth of an inch to make sure that you have enough product on there. All right, so now that we have about an eighth inch layer on top of the cast iron with the rust remover gel, we're gonna put some saran wrap or plastic wrap over it to keep it from evaporating. So I'm gonna keep this cast iron at about room temperature or higher, and that's the recommended temperature for the chemical reaction to work. Now I know from using the metal rescue on some tools earlier, I know that for about this amount of rust, I should probably leave it for 12 hours or so. When I come back, the gel should be darkened, which means a lot of that rust and corrosion has gone into the gel and off the metal. All right, so I just came back from a few errands and this has been sitting for only probably about three, four hours, but already you can kind of see that the gel itself has darkened up considerably, taking on the color of the rust. And it appears that when you kind of press down on the saran wrap, it appears that there's bare metal underneath there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a gamble and pull the plug early on this thing and wash everything off. All right, so I went ahead and washed everything off and dried it thoroughly. And as you can tell, just as I suspected, uh, all the rust is completely gone from the surface. And if you take a smell, it kind of has that kind of irony, coppery type of metallic smell to it, which is kind of neat. The good thing about this is that it's an environmentally safe way to do it. There's no scrubbing, there's no sanding, um, there's no solvents or anything weird. So all in all, it's a pretty benign process. And because that we didn't use any mechanical means to get the rust off, you have all these little imperfections or divots that come from the actual casting. And I'm pretty happy about painting on the rust remover instead of dunking it in, because as you could see from the line kind of where I painted, it's seasoning here where I left alone and then where I painted it on, there's absolutely nothing. So let's go ahead and start the seasoning process so this will last for many generations. Seasoning is basically just baked on oil. So the oil that we're gonna be using is a standard vegetable oil. There's nothing terribly special about it. 
So what we're gonna do is just put a little bit on there and I'm just gonna use a, a paper towel or a napkin and work it around. And the next step for this is to bake it on. And to do that, we're gonna set the oven to 400 degrees and put it in for one hour. We'll put it on the top rack along with the other cast iron that I'm also seasoning. So that is how I restore this beautiful piece of cast iron. I got this for $13 and I've seen very similar skillets like this going on eBay for upwards of $100. So with a little bit of metal rescue, a little bit of time and a little bit of know-how, I was able to save a whole lot of money outfitting my house with new cookware. If you guys have any comments or questions, you can go ahead and message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page and other social media. It really helps you know these are the kind of videos you wanna see. But as always, take care out there, bye.